There have already been 130 cases of typhoid reported in the country since the year began. Authorities fear more infections in the coming days. Food vending spots have been singled out as the main drivers of this spread. And now, the city council has given street vendors an ultimatum to seize operations. We have given our vending public, especially those in the food industry, enough notice uh, for them to, to stop to temporarily stop business whilst we address the issues surrounding the problem of typhoid. And you don't want to lose any lives to typhoid. So the best way we have to do is, this is just one of the measures taken. Other measures are also being implemented, but this one we had to announce it because it affects the livelihoods of people. As expected, the move has not gone down well with the vendors. They blame the city council for the spread. They say poor service delivery in garbage collection and lack in maintenance of water and sewerage systems is the cause of the spread. And so, a showdown between the two sides looms. The um, issue lies on council implementing its obligations. They have to ensure that all the mountains of garbage that we are seeing all over Harare have been collected. The blocked drains, supply of clean water. There's no clean water for people to drink. So you can't shift the whole blame to the vendors. I think the vendors must be here because the, uh, the market is in the town and the, the city council must put the beans in the town so that the sanitation uh, can be take place. Typhoid is highly infectious and is spread when food or water containing contaminated fecal matter or salmonella typhosa is consumed. So far, nine deaths have been reported as a result. Susan Mongeli, CGTN.